Hi, it's uh, Joe here from Data Analytics Ireland with your weekly blog posts, video tutorials, and live streams, anything and everything Data Analytics. So today we're going to talk about how you import a CSV file with data in it through an SQL query. Let's hop over to the code, see what it's all about, and go through the different steps. Right, so you're faced with a situation where you have a CSV file and you want to basically import that data, but you don't want to be using the uh, file upload through the, the menu. I'll show you that in a second. What you want to actually do is upload the data to an SQL query you've written. And the reason behind this is possibly that um, you may have a lot of files to do and that you want to automate it. And using the actual file upload to the menu might be not practical for the amount of volume you have and the time it will take. So what we're going to do today is take you through the steps of actually how you would import the file uh, to an SQL query and uh, keep it automated. So. In front of us, we have a CSV file. Okay, I'm gonna close this now in a second, but I basically, what's gonna happen is that this file is essentially going to be uploaded into our database table with these three column names. Now, it's important to keep in mind these names here in the code, which I'll get to now in a bit, and to keep the steps of this, uh, they're important because that's what the code will do to look up those particular column names to bring in all these values. So we're actually gonna, close this now for a second i'll just close this just gonna click don't save so um normally what you would do if you wanted one if you're importing import i'll just show you important wood file on its own um you would go into the, the, the database and you would go to tasks uh, here in ssms sql server manager studio and you would say import flat file okay so what we'll do is on this screen we're just going to say next and then what we're gonna do is pick the file, click open. So now it's just saying, here's the folder, new table import and schema. I'm gonna click next, okay? And all it's doing now is bringing up the data. Now this is perfect. So if this is one on your own, uh, one particular file on its own, absolutely happy days, I would cer certainly uh, recommend it. There's a number of other things here. You can modify corner summary and results. I'm not gonna go through each step, because really in reality, the purpose of this video is to show you how to do the SQL query. But this is just showing you that you can do it this way, but it's not the best way to do it if you have a lot of these files and you want to automate it and there's loads of different files going on to be imported, okay? So I'm just gonna click cancel on this. And just click yes, obviously. So we have uh, the steps in this, and I'm gonna show now in a second, is we're gonna drop, if the table might be there, um, if it is, we're gonna drop it. Um, so that's the usual your normal drop table okay so we actually already created the table here um, but what we'll do is drop it we're going to recreate the table with the uh, value well, sorry with the customer name and the data type um, of age and data type of int and place of birth and via chair and the whole idea behind this is that if you want to create a refreshed copy of the database with a new set of data this will do it for you um, Next step we're going to take you through actually is the open row set uh, function within SQL. Um, now what I want to do before we go and look at that is to show you one thing. When you're using this open row set, okay, you actually separately have to create a file and in the file you define the field names and the lengths and when the actual column names sorry, the column name finish. So with that file I showed you here, actually if we go back to Excel for two seconds, I showed you this is the import file. So we just click back here, sorry, give me a second. So if you look here, okay, we have customer underscore name, it's customer underscore name, okay, let's just do this, this, and this, okay. So we have customer underscore name here, okay, and we're telling it it's column one, age, which is column two, and place of birth, which is column three. And essentially what we're doing is, we're basically saying type, now they all can be as SQL char. So when you're feeding it in, you don't feed it in as the data types in the target system. All you do is you feed it in as a data, data type char. And the whole idea is when it gets fed into the system, it will be fed into the column and it'll be applied to data types on the, the server. So essentially what you're doing here is you're basically giving it SQL char, and then you're saying it's 10, 3 and 10, it's just like the, the length. And then you're basically giving this uh, column 1, 2 and 3. So it goes from left to right and basically the names. So 
important thing to remember here is this last bit here um, this bit first of all it's just saying it's a comma and the second one's a comma but actually on the last line you need to put this in and the reason for this is you tell it that this is the last column to look at and to read in all the data otherwise it'll probably keep going and you might get errors and it might process longer than you expected okay so that's the file that i've created i place it in the same folder as the um the same folder as the csv but you can place it anywhere really um i just for the purposes of this demonstration i place it in the same folder so don't save this so we're going to go back into this here right so if i just move this over here and yeah just move this over off the screen so the next thing we want to do is we've dropped the table we've created it so the next step to code is we're going to do an insert statement and essentially what the insert statement is doing is it's basically inserting into this but it's doing a subquery and saying select everything from open row set so what open row set basically is doing is doing a bulk insert and essentially it says it's open row set bulk and then it points it to the csv file so that's the csv file in the folder i just showed you and essentially that is the, it will read in all that data and basically load it as described but the other important thing here that you need to tell it to look to which i also showed you was the text file and this is the text file with all the formatting the files the length the column names next thing is looking at is for first row is row two that's essentially saying that uh, the first row is obviously that's the first row it's the first row of data so that's by default the first row is your headers and basically your last thing is csv and it's basically saying the file you're reading in is csv file so if we run this now we'll just execute this okay it's basically said 11 rows have been affected all right so if we go back i'll just bring this back over here on screen and if we just go back in here to say do a select top test there you go there is all the files there's an extra some files and there is the actual table created with all the information from um the csv file so we're going to try one other thing now before we go so say let's just do one thing here we're gonna just oh, sorry um just gonna run this piece of code here okay so what we're gonna do is drop the table and rerun the code without without the table existing so let me just do this very quickly okay so that's been com completed successfully do a refresh here okay so let's go out of here okay and we need to do a refresh on this okay and all right so there you go it's gone so we know we don't have that table anymore so let's rerun this code so it's just to show you the table doesn't exist we're just gonna run these bits here okay don't need this bit because we know it doesn't exist we run this now and click execute 11 rows affected so if i just do a refresh on this okay go back in here there's the table again and we're just going to go select top one thousand rows whatever and there's the table there's all the file and that's the file that i showed you from the csv file uh, using the text file as well as the input of the headers and where it starts stop the import so i hope you enjoyed that today that's a very quick way to import your data from csv files obviously there may be longer um longer and bigger files that you may use which is great it's a great way um, for automating if you want to um, not use as i said to start the file import and that's a very manual process and you could incorporate that step or set of steps you see there's only about six or seven lines there into an automated process that would run for you and import your csv files so thanks for coming along hope you enjoyed the, the, the video tutorial please hit the like and subscribe button and share with your friends and colleagues more coming out soon i have videos i'm presently working on on tableau um, if you're into data visualization so if you like the channel please as i said hit the subscribe button see you soon look after yourself take care and thanks for stopping by